example, what it could be used for, and um, so this is going to be like explaining how it actually like functions, how it, how it locks onto its target, how it guides itself towards its target, the logic behind it, how to use the composites for it, and this is going to be a with how you prep it to fire. So right here, I've got a hard point right here. I'm using a hard point with the uh, hard point connector. And then it is on a rail with two grippers to keep it in line while it's going off the rack. So um, right here on your hard point, you have a release, which just drops it where it is and it just lets it freely slide, or you have launch, which gives it an on-off signal when launched. And then you also have your numbers to uh, display what your ordinance type is. So for me this would be uh, laser guidance. Yeah, but as we were, so you have got this one, so I've got two off of buttons so it doesn't just get pressed, so you can basically put this anywhere. You can have like, on the bridge, you can have or you could have up in the command room request fire and then on the bridge confirm and then you can launch it. So we have your ready which just opens up these two buttons. The one on the left like fires it and the one on the right it just releases it. <coughs> so that's just that's basically it for the guide rail itself, the launching system itself. So now we go to the actual missile itself. You have card point here which goes to an on off. It so for me all it does is that it, for me, the hard point launch signal just, just turns on the booster, just ignites the rocket. What actually happens, like how it actually works, is over by my microcontroller up here, and then you're later there. So, <coughs> on the laser point sensor, you have three channels. You've got channel one on off, channel one numbers, and then channel two numbers. Channel one on off is what I use for the little light on the side of my, uh, the little red light that shows that it has a target acquisition. Then you've got channel one, which is your X, so your left and right, and then you have channel two, which is your Y, which is your vertical, which is your up and down. <coughs> so, what we do is, well, go to our microcontroller over here, I can just do this real quick. So, as you see, I like to GM, composites, on-offs, which is the logic itself. It's pretty simple logic for how this works. So you have your laser point sensor, the composite output, or input in this case, from the laser point sensor. And you have your channel one, which is your read, which basically just goes to the, out, the light output, which says that the missile's locked on. And then you've got two composite read numbers, one for channel X, one for channel Y, they both go into divides. For me, all right, you don't need the divides for the mist to work, you could just directly lock them, your uh, component out, but <coughs> what it does is that it takes your missile, 
and when it's fired at just the normal ones, it will go like this. It'll wave a lot. So if you add a divide, it decreases. So let's say target is, all right, so you have zero, and it's got a 120, so it's kind of like this. So it's gonna go, you have a target right here, so it's going to want to put in, let's say, negative 0.5 to go to the left, to get to that center in between the left. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is, it's gonna do that at this angle. So when you put it in as one, it's gonna be going in like this. And as we divide it, it slowly decreases how violent, like how aggressive the angle is on the control fin. So if you have it large, so it as soon as it goes over, it just immediately starts going like that, it's going to wave. But if you divide it, so that it puts in smaller inputs at once, it'll, it'll be a little more stable. So that's basically all mine, so this is all the divide does. Now for me personally, with this setup, just a light missile and a simple booster at uh, 66, <coughs> I personally use a cost number 1.25. So basically just takes 25% of the input, or let's see, hold on. It, if you want to divide it by 1.25, you're going to do, take your number, take a quarter from it, add it to itself, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take that number that you've gotten, which is the quarter plus itself, which equals your constant number, which will then go into your divides, which will then go to yaw and pitch. <coughs> so that's the microcontroller behind it. And then, um, let's see. So back on the outside, you've got your yaw and your pitch. Your yaw, as I've said previously, is your left, so your vertical stabilizer, which is your left and your right. But now for your pitch, this input right here, pitch, this is your horizontal stabilizer. So this would be your up and your down. Your up and your down. So. Now, as I said personally, I prefer to use 66 to 75%. And, um, yeah, laser missiles are pretty easy to make, pretty easy to understand. <coughs> the composites behind it are extremely simple. So, uh, yeah, this is just all it is. See, that was the infrared one. You can't actually see the laser, but it is there. Uh, so, yeah, short video just describing and explaining how the LGM Mark II works. There are a lot more advanced and a lot more precise missiles than this. But this is basically like, you're new to composites, you don't know too much, and with the upcoming weapons DLC you at least want something that's easy to make. So, super easy to make, you don't need PIDs, you don't need to worry about Lua, but none of that. You literally just click a button, turn on a laser, and it goes to wherever that laser is. Simple. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for dropping in, and, uh, have a good day.